Welcome back, you guys, to BVI Pilots. I am your host, John, once again, and I hope everybody is doing well. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to please tap on that subscribe button and join us here at BVI Pilots. And also be sure to give us a thumbs up to show that you appreciated this video or that you just appreciate the channel in general. Last but not least, be sure to click on that notification button and set your notifications and be sure to set them to always so that you are notified each and every single time that we publish a video right here at BVI Pilots. For that said, we're going to jump into the final review for the Honeycomb Yoke. Now, as you know so far, um, the uh, first review, I gave it a 10. The second review got a 10. And now, last but not least, what will the Honeycomb get on this review? Now, we've done talked about everything. I've talked about the buttons, where they're located, the features, the quality. Uh, and, and the way that it was flying was just brilliant. And we talked about that in the last video as well. As far as the yoke handling really good. Um, we didn't do a lot of uh, turning with it um, only because you know me being visually impaired uh, I didn't want to get off track of where we where I was going um, and make the flight even that much longer so we didn't do turning that much but I will tell you I did play around with it and when you turn this thing like it's dead on you guys it you you, you know you barely turn it to the right and you're, you're going to see that same, you know, uh, amount of turning in the cockpit. Um, and like I said, I do have some vision, so I'm able to see that stuff a little. And you can just tell that it's pretty much dead on. So, anyway, we did all that. And now I wanted to go over a few things uh, with you so that you understand this um, if you go and buy the honeycomb yoke there is a bug that prepare has that makes it kind of awkward with your switches and stuff on your yokes that bug being when you're going in and you're setting your you know your different uh, switches and stuff let's go with a very simple example when I turn on landing lights I flip that switch up my landing lights have came on when I want to turn them off normally you would just take the switch flip it down landing lights are off because of the bug that prepare has it doesn't work that way what you got to do is you got your landing lights on you're going to flip it down back up landing lights off and then bring your switch back down so that you know that it's in the off position that is a prepare thing it has nothing to do with the honeycomb yoke okay um, that is about the only little bug you're going to run into. Now, if you're using the push buttons on your yoke itself, those work the way they're supposed to. For example, approach mode. If you got, you know, one of your buttons set for approach on your yoke, you push it one time, approach mode comes on, push it again, it'll go off that works fine the hat switch works fine your uh, pitch levers work fine all that stuff works beautiful um, and then you've got over on your right again with the ignition um, there's some settings there but being visually impaired you're going to want to map those so you know exactly 
what's what because like on one of the settings it's for all engines I believe um, I don't know there's one two three four different positions technically five counting the op position you know one for op two three four five okay um, but even having that bug that prepare has it definitely doesn't change my opinion about this yoke um, from quality to the production to the operations and controlling it flying with it and all that I'm giving it on a rating a scale 1 to 10 1 being the worst 10 being the best we're going to give it a plus 10 that's how impressed I am with this yoke not just because I bought it not because it's sitting in front of me but because for the cost of this thing it is well well worth it now again those that are visually impaired that are BVI pilots you gotta do some mapping um, those keys work out of the box but our readers doesn't read to us what they're doing um, for example taxi one of those switches was for taxi well that won't do me any good because we can't taxi not yet so you know it's stuff like that um, and you know pushing ahead we don't hear that neither um, you know I was flying last night and I flipped the switch down or up I can't remember and all of a sudden my jet started coming down like we were going to land and it, my reader didn't say anything about what it did it did something but it didn't tell me anything so I went ahead and did the mapping I mapped all the keys I still got to work on the ignition key I'm going to do that uh, probably tomorrow right now I've got to start all with my you know the bottom row of them five switches my very far left switch does the start all start all engines I'm going to move it over to my ignition but I'm going to make it to where you turn it one time and it turn it activate the battery turn it again the generators turn it again you know and so on then the very far one is going to be my start all so when I get to that point my other stuff's on actually I don't know one to the right will be my APU next battery next generators next start that'll work out perfect I do believe and we'll test that out um, at some point we'll see how that works out so from me to you I would tell you if you're wanting a new yoke this is the one you know me being visually impaired you know, you know with having a little sight um, it's really cool that they've even made it to where you know the thing lights up And there's five different bright uh, light settings on it so that's really cool and again like I said you'll find that little button on the back if, if you do have a little bit of sight and you're wanting to see that it's got that button on the back um, out of all the videos if you have any questions um, maybe you're trying to put it together to get it set up on your desk and you're having trouble understanding what goes where please feel free to you know message me I'd, I'd, I'll be glad to you know help you 
any way that I can. Um, I really feel like, you know, for the price of this, it is so worth it. You know, there's another yoke that's like $1,000 or so, $1,200. And, you know, it's all metal. It's, it's a square metal uh, box. Um, to me, I like this one because, you know, the top of this yoke is rounded, but at the very front of it, right behind your yoke, it's flat. It's not rounded off. So you can sit, you know, you can put a camera up there or you know, whatever you want to sit on there, you could technically sit something up there. Um, maybe you're doing a video and you want, you're not recording a video, but you're talking about a video or something. You could set your camera right there pointing right at you. You know, so it's up to you how you do things. Um, you know, maybe you got two different cameras <clears throat> and on one of them, it's looking at you, and on another view, you're going back to your cockpit. You could do that too. So, several options, you guys. <clears throat> um, again, any questions, please feel free to leave your comments below. I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. Um, you know, if, if anybody can think of another product that, that you would like to, to see a review on let me know I'll do my best to get my hands on it um, but I, I think for description and, and all that I, I think I'd describe it pretty good on these kind of reviews to give you that really good understanding of exactly what you're looking at and what to expect when you get yours so anyways guys it was good to do these reviews I enjoyed it I enjoyed every one of these videos I'm actually going to be setting up another flight you don't want to miss that you can follow me on Twitch you'll find that link down below in the description you'll also find the link where you can go and get yourself one of these yokes right now so head on over get yourself a yoke if you gotta pre-order it do it it's worth it you won't regret this I promise you can be like, oh man, I'm glad I listened to him, right? So, anyways, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful night, and uh, get yourself a honeycomb yoke and do some flying with BVI pilots. If you get a BVI pilot, now is the time to join us because we're having fun, we're having a blast. So join us and let us take you along with us. We'll talk to you soon.